and uh, this is the summary for the day of uh, 538 for the 15th of August. So just some uh, conclusion, uh, just some uh, note. The, this, this is particularly disturbing uh, if you are pro-Ukrainian, uh, this information that the, the electronic or the communication or intelligence uh, apparatus has been damaged or disabled uh, can be tremendously damaging to the Ukrainian operation. But if it is true, we do not know if it is true because this is just information coming from the, this hacker group's Telegram channel. Although they have, uh, they have very genuine looking uh, screenshots. They also have a video you know, uh, of this you know, software. And uh, so this is actually quite uh, disturbing uh, if you ask me. And, uh, if, and uh, also the Ukrainians are making really powerful breakthroughs over at the Robotine region. Especially if they are attacking within Robotina itself, and if the Russians do not up their rotational uh, rotation effort and uh, keep reinforcement to keep going in, you no, know, even under fire, do the rotation and uh, continue to put pressure on the Ukrainian uh, offensive in this area here, they are going to lose the town for sure. If, as you can see, that the Ukrainians are making this push and they are expanding and fanning out from the the brick this entire uh, salient that they have developed so so it doesn't matter whatever line of defense the russians have developed you no know, over this region here you no know, all this line of defense will not have mattered if they do not have the manpower uh the rotation intensity to keep up with the ukrainians intensity of rotation if the ukrainians continue this rolling attack every six hours is a different unit attacking and they continue to overlap each other the Russians are going to be pushed back and I think this is actually looking uh, really really advantageous for the Ukrainian side and uh, it looking like finally the Ukrainians have a strategy that it can work out but however uh, we do have to take into perspective that um, there is uh, there is reports from the pro-Russian side saying that the Ukrainians have uh, severe losses uh, trying to storm Robotine and uh, Raiba also noted that there is appearance of the striker armored uh, armored personnel carrier as well as the mother infantry fighting vehicles so this actually uh, indicates that at least based on the pro-russian's uh, perspective that this is the entry of the reserves of the ukrainian armed forces so i do not know how true is this but they say that this is actually an indication that the ukrainians have started to use their reserve reserve offensive force and this might also explain how the Ukrainians are making so much progress because uh, they are throwing out more troops, more offensive troops, uh, well-equipped well -equipped troops uh, to do this offensive around the Robotine region. So this is looking uh, really uh, exciting for the pro-Ukrainian pro side, if you ask me. Just that uh, w this thing need to be sustained and uh, how long can the Ukrainians sustain is another story altogether. And of course, uh, I'm not sure if the Russians actually have enough forces uh, to guard this area because, you know, the Russians can be very unpredictable in their deployments. And uh, otherwise, we are, we are also seeing at Uruzani the same thing is happening. The Ukrainian forces are doing probably the same strategy and they are making good progress. Uruzani is likely to be captured uh, within a day or two by the looks of it and uh, ukrainian forces are def is definitely also you know, making a lot of push in this area here and uh, with reinforcement coming to uh, Stato Mayoski and Uruzaini we are expecting that uh, there is going to be further offensive actions uh, in this area here and then they will be able to secure a huge capture you know, a huge zone of control uh, along this entire uh, uh, front line so this is actually looking to be really good for the Ukrainians as well. On the Russian side, uh, we don't. The, there's not much things exactly happening on the Russian side. As mainly is the Kupians offensive. They are making push. The Ukrainians are pushing back very strongly. Uh, we're not sure how far the Russians can push in this area here, uh, because like I said, the Russian offensive actions tends to be really short in time frame. So. It looks like they you know they might actually end the offensive and then and then that's it it's just an improved front line and uh, that's about it. it there's no real strategic uh circum uh strategic way 
to the offensive. So that's all from the Kupians run. That's all from uh, all these actions uh, around Ukraine. Do press the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the. Oh yeah, please uh, do share share this on your social media because the views nowadays are atrocious. And uh, if if you are not doing your part, then to help to support the channel, then the support the channel is going to be very hard to sustain the reporting of this war. So. Uh, if you appreciate the work, uh, do actually do share, do press the like button. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Thank you. And I'll see you in the next update.